इधर उंगली नहीं घुस रही कब कैसे घुसेगा वट डू डू इफ यू फील पेन ड्यूरिंग सेक्स मैं कैसे तुमको समझाऊ लाइक ये अंधेरी और चार बंगला है बट ये इन द गाय वोट रिकॉर्ड योर एम एम एस और समथिंग ओ माई गॉड Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to yet another Girl Talk episode. If you're new here and you don't know what Girl Talk videos exactly are, so I ask you all a bunch of questions. You all are uncomfortable to ask your parents or doctors or even teachers in your class. And this is the sex education that I feel like our Indian society deserves, our girls deserve, and need to know. There's going to be a lot of information in this video, which I will explain in normal way. Like I will explain to my friends or my daughter or my son or any relative. उसी तरीके से आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन टू यू ऑल आई डू हैव अ मेडिकल बैकग्राउंड ऑफ हैविंग स्टडीड ऑक्यूपेशनल थेरेपी बट इन नो वे इज एनीथिंग दैट आई सी इन टुडे इज वीडियो मेडिकल एडवाइस आई हैव डन टू पार्ट्स इन द पास्ट ऑफ द गर्ल टॉक वीडियो एंड बोथ हैव बीन रिसीव्ड वेरी वेल बाय यू ऑल यू ऑल गेट टू लर्न अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स एंड आई रियलाइज के जितना इंफॉर्मेशन मुझे अपनी स्कूल कॉलेज बहनों से मॉम से मिला है उतना काफी लोगों को नहीं मिलता है एंड तुम्हारी रेगुलर कॉन्वर्जेशन में ये टॉपिक्स नहीं होती है सो दैट्स माई कंप्लीट रीजन एंड इंटेंशन बिहाइंड मेकिंग दिस वीडियो so it is very important to know these things and mai kafi chill rakhti hu environment so don't worry but agar aapko aise koi topic se you know uncomfortable hoti ho to don't watch this on tv plug in your earphones and then we can dive straight into this but if this is the first time you've come on my channel then hi i'm sara i make beauty and lifestyle content here on youtube take a moment hit that subscribe button join the sara squad i'm sure you love it here and also don't forget to hit the bell icon right next to it so that every time i upload a video you get notified and with that we can dive straight into this okay i'm going to take my questions more so from in Instagram because YouTube पर बहुत कम क्वेश्चन आए मैं वहां पर भी जाऊंगी बट पहले आई वोट स्टार्ट विथ इंस्टाग्राम सो आई एम कीपिंग ऑल द नेम्स एनोनिमिस वी आर ओनली हर टू डिस्कस टॉपिक्स इन द पास थ्री आवर्स ओनली इंस्टाग्राम पे इतने सारे आ गए ओके लेट्स लाइट इन द मूड स्टार्ट इन स्लो डू यू थिंक लेसी पैंटीज आर नेसेसरी फॉर फर्स्ट टाइम आई मीन बॉयज डोंट डू एनी सच स्टफ फॉर अस सो बेसिकली वॉट यू मीन इज दैट गर्ल्स टेक मोर एफर्ट इन टू दर फर्स्ट टाइम एज अपोज टू बॉयज एंड बॉयज जस्ट गो फॉर इट टू बी वेरी वेरी ऑनेस्ट विथ यू एंड दिस आई मोर स्पीक कम्प्लीट आर लाइक पर्सनल preference or opinion Logically matters more to the girls than to the boys. Like I really feel like they don't care. There are very very few few men who actually pay attention to lingerie. But it's more so about feeling confident in what you're wearing. You know, I feel very confident when I'm wearing like a sexy bra or a sexy panty or you know, I'm very well dressed inside and outside. So I'm confident that way, knowing that at any point I'm looking good. You know what I mean? So it's about making the effort for your experience, your confidence because. That will reflect. It's not about them, and I feel like guys who don't take effort in bed are really not guys worth giving it to. I haven't gotten my period, and I'm gonna turn 14. It's completely all right. Some people do get it later, and I feel like. हमारे जमाने में मतलब हम अभी ये जो जेनजी है उनको काफी जल्दी पीरियड आने लगे बिकॉज हमारी लाइफ स्टाइल बहुत खराब है एज अपोज टू वर्ड लाइक पेरेंट्स यूज टू लिव दे यूज टू लिव अच हेल्थियर लाइफ स्टाइल देवर नॉट एक्सपोज टू सो मच जंक नॉट एक्सपोज टू सो मनी थिंग्स वी आर टूडे सो जस्ट ओवरऑल लाइफ स्टाइल वाइज हमारी लाइफ स्टाइल उनसे काफी फास्ट पेस्ड है इसलिए हमें उनसे काफी जल्दी पीरियड आए लाइक आई गॉट माइंड इन द एथ स्टैंडर्ड सो आई वॉज वॉट ट्वेल्व वेन आई गॉट माई पीरियड या ट्वेल्व थर्टीन देवर लाइक the batchmates of mine who had gotten in the 5th standard only so it's just that our generation is much more fast paced as opposed to like my mom and my sister they got it like 9 10 standard mein you know so if you're 14 it's completely all right maybe wait another 2 years if you don't get it then you can you know consult a gynecologist is it normal to have period only once in a day without rest 5 days Okay, only one day period is not normal. You need to consult a gynecologist. A lot of the times, your hormones might be out of balance if you're stressed. If something is off mentally, also stress is such a such a strong hormone that plays a big havoc on all the other hormones. So, इसीलिए it's important to get yourself checked for your hormones. If you're like only bleeding once in the entire twenty eight days, thirty days, या तो you're bleeding way too much. I know girls who get their periods for like eleven eleven days, which is not normal. and uh, you end up becoming anemic then you need a lot of supplements so ye sab check karwa lo definitely hormonal imbalance ki wajah se hota hai really want to use menstrual cup but scared like idhar ungli nahi ghus rahi cup kaise ghusega <laughs> listen girls it's a muscle ek cheez samajh jao ki your vagina is a muscle number 1 it's a different muscle it's not from where you pee because a lot of the people on my menstrual cup video where i tried a menstrual cup for the first time have asked me ke if you are putting a menstrual cup to how will you pee 
you pee from a totally different place you bleed from a totally different place these are like you know main kaise tumko samjhao like ye andheri aur char bangla hai but ye andheri mein hi char bangla aata hai sorry this is char bangla and lokhandwala but this is not the same place you know what i mean so it's from two different areas that you're bleeding and peeing so you're not obstructing your peeing with a menstrual cup number 1 number 2 you can get a smaller size wo bhi silicone ka hota hai to wo moldable hai tumko apna technique use karna hai aur kafi techniques available hai internet pe jo tum dekh ke samajh sakte ho and you have to try it so learning curve with a menstrual cup maine bola tha tumko wo video mein bhi jab maine try kiya tha ke in my first period also when i try like every time i removed and reinserted it was difficult for me but now i can do it in my half sleep you know so my muscles are also trained my hands are also trained and my brain is also trained so it does have a learning curve with it but once you get used to a menstrual cup it's addicting because it's so fuss free like no tension no disposal i to don't even leak with my menstrual cup i don't get any leakage whatsoever तो एकदम अच्छे से योर सिक्योर्ड एंड योर स्ट्रेस फ्री एंड फस्ट फ्री प्लस योर हेल्थी और ऑन द एनवायरमेंट आल्सो योर डूइंग अ बिग फेवर ऑन द एनवायरमेंट बाय नॉट क्रिएटिंग अ मेस सो आई फील लाइक मेंस्ट्रुअल कप इज द वे टू गो इफ यू कैन जस्ट लर्न एंड गेट अ हैंग ऑफ इट एंड बी अ लिटिल पेशेंट विद इट्स नॉट गोना कम ओवरनाइट और उंगली भी घुसेगी मेंस्ट्रुअल कप भी घुसेगा सब घुसेगा और मसल है वो रिलैक्स होता है मसल्स हैव मेमोरी ऑलवेज रिमेंबर दैट व्हेन वी वर्क आउट आल्सो तो एक बार पहले ही दिन वर्क आउट करो तो बहुत सोरनेस होता है बट उसके बाद जब वर्क आउट करने लगो तो मसल को भी आदत हो जाती है vagina is also a muscle it has memory and it will learn once you repeat an action you know what i mean <laughs> how many times do we have to have sex to get pregnant this is not a number game it's really about the timing game if you are planning a pregnancy with your sexual encounter you need to make sure you're tracking your period right ideally speaking you should download a period calendar app main tumko wo icon idhar chhod dungi that's the app i use and i always recommend it's very very simple wahan pe jab tumhara period start hota hai and jab khatam ho jata hai the five day cycle if you are just registering that so you will come to know like suppose i just open my period calendar app right now so over here it says ovulation 17 days left so on the day of ovulation is when i have the highest chance of getting pregnant so over here it says today cycle day 11 low chance of getting pregnant so if i have sex like right now i have a low chance of getting pregnant so it's like safe sex a lot of people use this calculation it's called period math to be able to identify and understand ki kab you can have unprotected sex which i do not recommend at all never ever is going to be a period of time ki tum unprotected sex kar sako but if you're planning pregnancy then this calendar and this math is very important for you to jab ye ye orange yellow period dikh raha hai na that's the ovulation period that's the 14th day of your cycle technically wo 28 days mein se and that is the period of time when you have the highest chance of getting pregnant so you should regularly have sex during that period of time that's basically how they calculated without any external method so it's not about how many times you do it but you should try to do it as many times as possible in that you know uh, ovulation period Whenever I shave down there after a day, I feel very itchy. What should I do? I shave with a razor. So even I shave with a razor. I've actually got a laser hair removal done, but that's not like hundred percent completely removal. It's a little reduction in the growth. Mein. So I do still use a razor for that little growth that I get. And usse pehle hamisha maine razor use kiya. Usse baal itchy. Isliye hota hai because pubic hair is only hard in general. Your pubic hair is supposed to protect those organs around your vulva region. You know, नीचे के सारे मतलब protected रखता है वो हर चीज़ इसलिए वो ज़्यादा hard होता है. तुम्हारे normal बाल इतने hard नहीं होंगे जितने तुम्हारे pubic hair होंगे. और फिर next day after shaving वो थोड़ी थोड़ी growth आने लगती है. इसीलिए it itches. What you can use is like an absorb powder, which is like a anti-fungal powder. So it just keeps that area dry, or you can use calidrel lotion. Calidrel will just calm the irritation if you have any. Those are the two things that I personally use if my skin is a little irritated over there, down there after I shave or after anything for that matter. Because garmi mein bhi also you feel very itchy for no reason. So calidrel and absorb not together. One of the two. Is it normal to feel pain the vaginal muscles and body after sex and to feel sleepy? Absolutely, it's very very normal after you. Had a very very strong blow in sexual intercourse. You will feel very uh like it's like a workout. It's honestly like a workout. It takes a lot of energy, both your cardiac as well as your muscle energy, and you do feel sore and tired, and it's like a cardio exercise. So you will feel sleepy, relaxed, and satisfied. That's why they say and 
pass out after sex and it's completely normal to feel that way any kind of uh, burning and itching and stuff like this is not normal but also tends to happen but body ache and soreness is so very very normal how to ensure you're safe for a one night stand as in the guy won't record your mms or something oh my god please if you're having a one night stand make sure you're doing it in a place where you both are new to that place firstly even if it's a one night stand do it in a place that you're comfortable okay don't go to that person's house or don't go to hotel room which has already been pre-booked or something like this may if it's happening and it's happening then and there make sure you have especially my girls have more control over what you're booking where you're going with that person you might meet this person only for one night but they can you know if safety is not ensured they can ruin your life for a longer period of time so it's not that i am telling you don't do it but one night stands is one thing that you have to have to be very very careful with how do i explain it's that risky night of when you just want to let go but at least make sure of your safety feelings and emotions theek hai one night stand mein everyone keeps their feelings and emotions just shut and just goes for it but safety always is important so either have it like have a hook up with somebody who is via a friend circle to tumko pata hai ki ye banda kahi se bhi safe hai matlab you know tum usko dur se jante ho nazdeek se nahi jante ho related nahi ho but tum dur se usko via via se jante ho aur pata hai ki ye banda safe hai to uske ghar bhi main jaungi to main safe rahungi that is one way to go about with it or the other way is to book a hotel room then and there and make a plan then and there and be a part of that plan and contribute to its planning and not just go somewhere the guy is taking you you know what i mean that's one way to ensure safety and also to be a little more alert about what is happening around and just be alert be alert don't completely let go of your safety precaution at the very least is masturbation okay to do as a girl can you come while masturbating absolutely why not masturbation is okay irrespective of whatever gender you are okay you are allowed to give yourself pleasure you don't need to go outside for pleasure if you can self satisfy and you can want to do it when for you want to do it right so your pleasure is in your hand you can come while masturbating i know why discharge is common but mine is not because it's regular okay so if you have regular why discharge you probably have a fungal infection especially if it's stinky why discharge like if you have bad odor also over there then please please consult a doctor because you need to like consult a gynecologist or a urologist you need to get that checked because it's probably like a urinary tract infection or a fungal infection that is causing it and that's why there's constant white discharge white discharge before and after your period is normal always being there is not normal an easy and painless method to remove hair down there i have honestly always opted for razor i can not even think about waxing i've never done a bikini wax I will never do a I don't even need to do it anymore. मैंने लेजर हेयर रिमूवल करा लिया है बट लेजर भी बहुत लगता है आफ्टर लाइक आई एम ऑन माई सिक्स सेशन ऑफ लेजर नाउ एंड एज द सेशन इंक्रीज द इंटेंसिटी ऑफ द लेजर प्रोब इंक्रीजेस सो दैट ऑज अर्ट अ लॉट लाइक अ लॉट एज द सेशन इंक्रीज बट इट्स मोर इफेक्टिव दिन वैक्सिंग लाइक एटलीस्ट आई नो के छह सेशन के बाद मैं वापस ये दर्द कभी नहीं बर्दाश्त करूंगी इज इट नॉर्मल इफ यू कीप गेरिंग एक्सेस इन योर वजाइना नो एब्सोल्यूटली नॉट एक्सेस इन इट सेल्फ इज लाइक अ पस कंडीशन तो पस तभी होता है जब तुमको इन्फेक्शन हो तो वो इन्फेक्शन ट्रीट कराना जरूरी है If you're getting it inside your vagina, I can imagine how painful that must be. So please, please get it checked. It's not normal. Sara, is there any way to lighten the vaginal area? Cause it really bothers me. Please, girls, don't fall for all this. Your intimate areas are supposed to be a darker color. They are all pigmented. वो सारे जो रंग है, जो colors है, they're supposed to be that way. Your intimate area is much darker than your face. Your hands are darker than. चलो, hands and all तो it's about sun exposure. कि मेरे हाथ ज़्यादा sun को expose होते हैं, मैं सिर्फ face पे sunscreen लगाती हूँ. हाथ का इतना ध्यान नहीं देती. But your intimate areas, your nipples, all these areas are supposed to be a darker color. You cannot get lightening treatments done over there and use vaginal lightening products and what not and all these. products do exist in the market for insecurities like this so please don't fall for it because i know a lot of girls who do fall for this and start questioning and i feel like it comes from a place of not understanding ke agar tumhara dark hai to dusro ka bhi dark hai like it's not like ke tumhara hi uh, like vaginal area is dark and others are having really like glowing from down there 
that does not exist. You can glow from your face, that's it. And that also like after using tons of skincare, I definitely don't think you need to be insecure about your intimate areas because literally irrespective of gender, koi bhi gender kyo tum, you're a girl, boy, trans, gay, you're whatever, whatever you identify sexual orientation as, your intimate areas are supposed to be hyper pigmented. They are supposed to be darker. But period. That's it. What do you wear under your gym pants? I feel really conscious if my underwear is seen through. So I to my gym pants I buy that they don't have see through. Like I take like thicker materials. If they are ribbed then I take thicker fabrics. My gym pants are very body hugging but the fabric in itself is thick. And if they are like those dry fit ones also. So I use seamless underwear. Seamless underwear has no stitch whatsoever. I get mine from Wonderlove. You also get seamless panties at Enamor, I think. And yeah, those are good. I have two of them, but mostly I just buy thicker gym pants. If we don't get periods for three months, then what to do? Then you need to consult a gynecologist. Like I said, this is all because of your hormonal imbalance. So check karwalo and dawai lelo and apne periods ko regularize karalo because somebody else has also asked what happens if we don't get our periods regularly your menstrual cycle aapke periods are very very important in your everything ka existence not just your fertility but also your mood balance your mental health your physical health your weight your skin everything is affected by your hormones and uh, periods are just one of those factors so when you get your regular periods it's a sign ke baki ke hormones bhi barabar se chal rahe and barabar sink mein sab kaam kar rahe so when your lifestyle is healthy when you're stressing less, when you're eating right, when you're exercising, you will notice that your periods are also regular, your skin is also glowing, your hair is good, everything falls in place and that's the reason why people emphasize so much on all these things, especially for girls because our hormones go out of whack very fast. Like exams ke time pe I used to miss a period because stress level was high. Ho jata tha. Impulse ke launch se pehle I missed a period because stress level was high. Tha. So that is my body not acting properly because it's not my stress that the other hormones are thinking that this girl is in fight or flight. So now she can't bleed because we have to conserve her energy. So if my body goes in that state and it's constantly in that state, everything else goes out of whack. Then my skin starts breaking out, my hair starts falling, and my body is in a state of alert. That this girl is trying to survive. That body cannot take that for very long. We have to make it feel that it's living. Healthily living and not trying to survive. You know the difference? This is like sort of the difference. You need to make your body feel that I am relaxed and so it will bleed normally and be okay to lose blood. Can hymen break before sex? This is like a common question in every girl talk. Yes, absolutely. It can break during doing whatever. Cycling, swimming, any strong physical activity can break your hymen. It's not necessary that your hymen will be intact till your first period and that you will necessarily bleed on your first period. Especially if you're like an active girl. Sports wise and dance wise and all of that then to hymen breaking is a normal thing before your first sexual encounter mm -hmm. small acne in pubis area how to keep them away probably happening because of the heat in your body so try consuming more liquids Abhi especially garmi mein this happens a lot so instead of topical application udar koi ointment lagane se pehle just try to increase the water intake the naral pani dahi all this thanda stuff to keep your body heat at bay then notice that acne because that's like the last place you'll be getting acne and that is a sign that your body heat is why do I always feel the need to be in a relationship when I can be happily single? This is a human instinct I feel and this a lot of Like I am so happy single by myself but I never let go the opportunity of meeting somebody or like you know going on a date or whatever. Just the idea of an ideal relationship, the idea of finding a companion should not be wrong should not be something that you should disobey. Ki nahi, mujhe to single hi mujhe kisi ko nahi milna, mujhe kisi se baat nahi karni, mujhe ye nahi karna. I know ki bahut baar life mein aise problems aate hai, jiski wazhe you start thinking like that. But it's human nature to want company. You cannot spend your entire life alone. It's okay to do it. It's not that you will be sad doing that. You can find happiness in animals, in yourself, in a lot of other activities. And there's a lot of way and I know people who are happily, happily single and I feel like I might also end up there. But the need for relationship and companionship for time to time aate rata hai. Like, it's normal to feel this. It's normal to have that human urges of wanting a companion. Because if you get it, 
लाइफ इज लाइक नीड बिकॉज यू हैव अ कंपेनियन यू कैन शेयर एवरीथिंग विद इन इट्स परफेक्ट इज इट ओके टू बी इन अ रिलेशनशिप विदाउट हैविंग सेक्स एब्सोल्युटली इट रियली डिपेंड्स ऑन योर एज आल्सो इफ यू आर लाइक अ यंगर पर्सन एंड यू आर नॉट कंफर्टेबल विद दिस पार्टनर टू लूज योर वर्जिनिटी और यू डू नॉट वांट टू हैव और एंगेज इन सेक्सुअल एनकाउंटर्स दैट्स कंप्लीटली फाइन यू शुड बी रेडी टू डू इट दैट इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इफ यू फील मेंटली एंड फिजिकली के यस आई एम रेडी दिस इज द पर्सन दैट आई वांट टू हैव सेक्स विद दिस इज द पर्सन that i want to give my virginity to or whatever that partner is very very important if it's a relationship if it's a situation ship it's whatever it is but that partner has to be very very important and agar tumko nahi engage karna hai so having that conversation again is very important because like you're asking me is it okay to be in a relationship without having sex so have that conversation with your partner as to why you're not okay having sex right now like your body does not feel ready or your mind does not feel ready or it can be anything from as stupid as ki meri mom ko pata chalega to i will be in a problem because i have also said this to a boy like literally especially when you're younger you cannot make all decisions by yourself that is the reason why we have parents and they tell us just things like ye galat hai ye sahi hai because they want to make hamari life simpler aur kam bachche hote jo bar bar question karke poochte and i was one of those people like i should always ask you why is it wrong why is it right because if i don't get an answer then i will find out in my ways or i will like do it and then figure you know that was my attitude as growing up but i've understood now with time that they just do that to make our life simpler because har cheez rationalize karne jao na to like it's too much for your little break to happen if you're in a relationship how will it be okay i really hope my relationship is a respectful one because i think love and all dies like it's very super wo period of time hota hai ki you're in love you're infatuated you're so much for the external looks and how you dress up and how you do this and that but if you respect your partner you respect what they say you will always listen to them and you will also contribute in a लाइक जो मैं बोलू वो रिस्पेक्ट करे जो वो बोले उसको मैं सुनू बिकॉज मैं उसकी रिस्पेक्ट करती हूँ रिस्पेक्ट विल ऑलवेज स्टेज एवर ग्रीन यू नेवर लूज रिस्पेक्ट अंटिल दैट पर्सन मेक्स अ डिसीजन दैट इज वन दैट इज अटल शेमफुल बट देन दैट कैन बी स्पोकन ओवर एंड मूव ऑन ओवर एंड यू नो हैड अ कॉन्वर्जेशन अबाउट तो रिस्पेक्ट इज समथिंग वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर मी लाइक इफ आई कैन रिस्पेक्ट सम वन डिसीजन नॉट जस्ट इन अ रिलेशनशिप और इन अ पार्टनर लाइक इवन इन फैमिली हो के फ्रेंड्स हो ऑल ऑफ माई फ्रेंड्स आर ऑल्सो सो वैल्यूएबल टू मी बिकॉज दे आर ओपिनियन आर वेरी वेरी वैल्यूएबल टू मी आई रिस्पेक्ट ऑल ऑफ देयर ओपिनियन एंड आई टेक देम ऑल लाइक कोई भी मेरा डिसीजन होगा ना लाइक छोटे से छोटा डिसीजन हो कि मेरी लाइफ का हो कि मेरे ब्रांड का हो कि कुछ भी हो आई ऑलवेज टेक एवरी वन ओपिनियन बिकॉज आई रिस्पेक्ट ऑल ऑफ माई फ्रेंड्स राइट सो आई वॉन्ट दैट सेम फ्रेंडशिप एंड रिस्पेक्ट टू बी देयर इन माई रिलेशनशिप and i really hope i get that so it shut up my menstrual cup leaks sometimes while sleeping what do i have to do i have the pee safe one it's not about the brand mera bhi menstrual cup neend ke time pe kabhi kabhar it does happen especially because your muscles are relaxed in your sleep and uh, menstrual cup holds and grips your muscles really tight to us wajah se hota hoga so in your sleep you can use a panty liner a panty liner is basically like a smaller version of a pad which only covers the vulva region so thoda jo leakage hoga that it can capture so in your sleep you can use that and it doesn't even give a lot of itching how can we know after having sex that i'm pregnant or not before having missed my period firstly to if you are not willing to get pregnant in the next 72 hours you can pop an eye pill don't get into the habit of doing that but ye once off hai matlab kabhi kabhar may maybe a condom breaks or uh, your protection was not 100% ya leak hua kuch bhi hua during the sexual encounter and you feel there is a chance of getting pregnant in the next 72 hours you can take an eye pill that is the morning after pill but that is not like every time you can't do this it's not oral contraceptive it's only an emergency contraceptive how to come to know that you can be pregnant in the next 10 days you can take a pregnancy test and find out you don't have to wait till your next period to find out so you will have to take those home pregnancy kits and test yourself to understand how to give a blow job i mean the condom must be on or it must be as it is ideally if you're blowing a person you're blowing for the first time or it's a one night stand or it's a hook up or something then yes you should keep a condom because sexually transmitted diseases you can get you can't get pregnant by a uh, oral sex but you can get a sexually transmitted disease because it's like direct contact of two oral fluids your saliva and semen make the partner wear a condom and then blow that's why flavored condoms is a concept if it's your regular partner like if it's your boyfriend or something and you know that person is not engaging in sexual encounter with somebody else and your health health sexual health is taken care of then you can blow without a condom also but it's just 
healthy or to do it with one. I'm suffering from vaginismus and I usually get texts about this. So this is like a proper medical condition and it's very common. It's not something very well known. Kaafi logo pata nahi hota but it is common. It is very very related to your mental health. So if you're anxious, if you're depressed, if you are not willing to have sex or do not want that penetration in your vagina, your vagina will just automatically clasp, like it will contract and it will not allow the penetrative sex to happen. And this is possible even if you're not a virgin, this is not necessary ke first time hi hota hai. Even if you've had sex before and thoroughly enjoyed it, but that day you're anxious or that day you don't want to do it with that person. So it has a lot to do with your mental health. It's not really the person also. Two things majorly I've seen people have had is when they're not comfortable with the partner in front of them, then that's a sign that you are not ready or literally physically not ready to have sex and you should take a step back and be like, no, I'm, my body is not ready, I don't want to do it. It's a sign that you need to take care of your mental health. There's a lot that's bothering you and you're stressed or you're anxious or something else is playing on your mind. You're not really fully in that moment, in that encounter. But if it's happening very, very regularly, then you need to get this checked from a doctor because people who suffer from anxiety disorders and stuff, it's very directly proportional. And kafi logo ko ye regularly is hota because their mental health is not in check. So I feel like getting your mental health in check will also help with your vaginismus misconditions, specifically for this person because you are telling me that you have it very often and you usually get tensed about this. So your tension is also triggering your vaginismus. You know what I mean? And the thing is, you have no control over this. Like once your vaginal muscles have shut, so you can control it yourself. You can't say, oh, I need to get turned on, I need to open up, I need to have sex. You can't do that. It's, it's literally an automated response. And if you like push during this period, then it is going to be very painful. Like if you are clamped and you try to push in that, it's going to be super, super painful. So that though, I do not recommend at all. What do you do if you feel pain during sex in spite of a lot of foreplay and no vaginismus? So this is like, again, not by the same person, but completely different. If you feel a lot of pain during sex, despite of foreplay, are you wet? Like foreplay to kia, but are you turned on? Like, are you into it? Are you ready for it that time? Are you really really you know lubricated well lubricated have you tried lube if your lubrication is not working then you can buy external lube which is basically like you know a gel that helps you re reduces the friction try that if that is also not helping then you might have to consult a doctor is it a necessity to have sex with your partner without being comfortable after being married it is not but uh, it definitely definitely is not a necessity just because you're married you need not have sex but the sad part of society is that it just dictates it. It's like Indian society mentality is marriage is for sex is for kids. That is basically how Indian society mentality has worked for years and years. I feel like now with the age of people talking up and you know these conversations being brought to light more uh, people are able to talk out of it and marital rape is something that people are talking openly about sharing their problems about and are able to you know adjust to the idea of the fact that just because you're married you can still take your time to get to know that person after marriage and then if you feel safe and secure then have sex you know i feel like if you are of the understanding and your partner is of the understanding then definitely only do it when your body is ready and not just because you've signed a bunch of papers and fed a lot of people and called yourself as married couple i'm trying not to repeat any questions that i've taken in the girl talk part one and part two like any related to stretch marks and how to cure stretch marks and stuff, it's not curable. Honestly, stretch marks ke liye you have to do expensive laser procedures and stuff. Also, uske baad there is no guarantee that your stretch marks will go. It's all about how many sessions will you put yourself through and how old are your stretch marks. Like I have really old stretch marks over here. So if I do laser on this now, it's going to take me like a lot of sessions, like 20 odd sessions to get done with it. I'd rather just keep it and uh, embrace my stretch marks than spend that kind of money to get laser because it really, really doesn't matter. Alright, you guys, that completes it. I've managed to take all of the YouTube as well as Instagram questions and whatever have been repeated overall. I have not taken those. Plus, what I have already answered in Girl Talk Part One and Part Two. Hope you made it. repeat that so that every video you get fresh information. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big, big thumbs up and also share with all your girlfriends so that everyone gets the right information. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you all want another part, then let me know in the comments below. For today's video, thanks for watching. Goshu Tanish. Kubarma, thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. If you want to be a part of the next video, Sarah Sport, shout out, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon right next to it, and also leave a comment down below saying hashtag Sarah Sport. And you get a chance to be a part of my next video, Sarah Sport, shout out. I will see you guys in another video. Bye, guys. Love you.